Good morning, friends. Morning. Wait, we're back. We're back to do some fun things today and learn some new things today. And we're going to be learning and learning and learning and learning and learning. Okay, we got it. Okay, we got it. What are we going to be learning? I don't know. Hmm. What should we learn about today, friends? I know. We need to learn about taking care of ourselves. Really? Yeah, we need to learn about taking care of ourselves. All those important self-help skills. What? What's that? Self-help skills? That's when you start getting bigger and learning how to take care of things on your own. Like, hmm, like what? Like going to a party? <gasps> yeah, like going to the party. That makes you a big boy and a big girl. You can do it all by yourself. You don't need mommy and daddy's help. No more diapers. Oh, I like that. I like it too. Let's talk about going to the potty. Oh, okay. Well, how do you go to the potty, guys? Hmm, you know Miss Sherry, she's got her chart. Yeah, I've got a chart for everything. And so can mommy and daddy. They can find the link below, okay? So you can print this out and make it for yourself. And you're thinking, oh my goodness, it's so long. But don't worry, the pictures will help you so you can see them and remember what to do. Yeah. So let's take a look. Ooh, there we go. So what's the first thing that we do, Larry, when we need to go to the potty? Hmm, we need to find the potty. We do, we need to find where the potty is. So there's our potty picture. It says, go to the toilet. Yeah, go to the toilet. And then what do you do? Um, well, I'm a lizard, so I don't know. You're right, you are a lizard, but if you were a big boy or a big girl, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna pull your pants down. Cause you can't use the potty if your pants are up. Nope. Then what do you do? You pull down your underwear. That's right, you're gonna pull down your underwear because we're learning about using the potty and making sure we stay nice and dry. So you're gonna pull your underwear down, down, down. That's right. Then what do you do, Larry? You're gonna sit on the potty. That's right. You're gonna sit on the potty. Yup. So the potty goes in and not on the floor. That's right. We don't want the potty to go on the floor. Then what do you do, Larry? Oh, the toilet paper. That's right. We gotta wipe and make sure we're nice and clean. Don't want to drip on the underwear. No, we don't. So then what do you do, Larry? Oh, uh oh, the underwear comes up, up, up. That's right. Your underwear comes back up right over your bottom. Then what do you do, Larry? Then the pants go up, up, up. That's right. Then your pants come up, up, up too, right over your underwear. But we're not done yet, are we, Larry? Nope. What do you do next? You gotta flush the potty. Flush it. Down, down, down goes the handle. Down, down, down goes the pee pee. Bye bye. And then what do you do? Oh, we have to wash our hands. We have to stay clean. We don't want to get sick. So we must wash our hands when we're done using the potty. Wow, you know a lot about using the potty, don't you, Larry? Yes, I do. I use the potty. Do you use the potty yet? Don't be scared. The potty is our friend. It is our friend. Let's go over it one more time for our friends. First, what do you got to do, Larry? Got to find the potty. Where is it? Where's the potty? Potty. You don't have to call for it, Larry. Hoo, hoo, hoo. No, it's in the house or at your school. Ask your teacher or your mommy and daddy if you're not sure where the potty is. Then what do you do? You go into the potty and pull your pants down, down, down. Then what do you pull? Take down the panties. Down, down, down goes the underwear. Then what do you do? 
you sit on the potty. Make sure to point everything down. Make sure it stays in the potty, not on the floor. That's right. Then what do you do? <gasps> wipe, wipe, wipe. Dry it up with a couple squares of toilet paper. That's right. Gotta be clean. We don't want to drip pee-pee or poo-poo on our underwear. Then what do you do, Mary? You have to pull the panties up. Up, up, up goes the underwear. Hmm, I like it. What do you do after that? Up, up, up comes the pants. Good job, Larry. You know this so well. Thank you. But we're not done. What do we need to do after that? Flush the potty and then wash our hands. Soap, 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 just like the pitcher. Get them nice and bubbly with the soap and clean away the germs. Wow. Larry, you know so much about using the potty. I know. I'm a smart lizard. He is a smart lizard. But what if you have trouble remembering what to do? Sometimes it can be confusing, right? There's a lot of steps in there. So, Mommy and Daddy, they could use something like this. Wow. Look at that. I like cars. I like cars too. And look, I see, is that McQueen? Yes, it is. And who's that? That's a funny tow truck. Yeah, look at all those cars. So mommy and daddy could print this out and laminate it. Mm -hmm. And then all they need is a dry erase marker. Every time you go to the potty, you can look at it and say, hmm, what does McQueen's say? It says, I can take down my pants all by myself. You can do it. And then you mark the little arrow. Yeah, you check it off. Then what do you do? It says, I can sit on the potty for a little while. Yes, it does. It does. And then you like a check on the mark. A check and a mark? Uh-huh. Then you can use your eraser, your dry eraser, and make a check mark. Uh-huh. A check and a mark. <laughs> and then you can mark it. And it says you did the, took the pants down, sat on a potty. But then what? It says I went on the potty. That means a PP goes into the potty. Oh, boy. Into the potty, not on the floor. That's right. Then what can you do? Check it off. There you go, you check it off. Then what do you do? It says when I'm all done, flushing is fun. Woohoo! I like making the pee pee and the stuff go down the potty. I think that's a good idea. So you flush the handle, just like in her picture. Flush, flush, flush. And then what? Goes down, down, down. And then what do you do? Check off the little flags. And you got one more time. What does the police car say? It says, wash my hands when I'm all done. That's right. Gotta wash our hands to be nice and clean. That's safe. We've gotta stay healthy and washing our hands keeps us healthy. It does keep us healthy. So you go to the bathroom, you can what? Take your pants down, and then you do what? You can sit on the potty. Then you can do what? Go potty. That's right. You're going to sit. You need to go. Oh, and then what? You pull your pants up and flush the potty and wash your hands. I like that. Yeah, and then you can have mommy. Oh, thank you. And daddy can check them off with a dry eraser, and when you fill them all up, that means you're remembering. You're being a big kid. Yeah. You're being grown up. That's a self-help skill. You're learning to take care of yourself. Good job. I know that is a good job. It's a smart way to remember how to take care of yourself, and using the potty is a big responsibility. That means you're growing up. You're not going to be a little bitty kid anymore. 
You're growing up to be a bigger kid. Yeah, I know. That's really exciting. Well, what else happens when you're all done? Say you filled up all the check marks. Hmm, maybe you could get a special reward from Mommy and Daddy or Grandma and Grandpa. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe you could go someplace special, like you could go to the library. Ooh, I like the library. I like the library, too. You can look at books. You could go to the story time. Hmm, maybe you could go to the dollar store and get a new book there that you could take home. Oh, whoa, or a special toy. Or maybe you could get a special treat with Mommy and Daddy or Grandma and Grandpa. I like that. I like that too. So you could get a reward for remembering and being all big. You can do it. I know they can. Wow, you know, I know somebody else who didn't give up. Who? That itsy bitsy spider. A spider? A spider. Just like in our song. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I see that spider. He's nice. He is nice, but he was really upset. He kept trying to go up the water spout, and the water kept coming down, washing him out. He kept trying to go back up. He did? <gasps> that means we're going to have to sing the song. Oh, boy. Are you ready? Let's find our itsy bitty spider. Oh, boy. There's our spider stuff. There we go. Are you ready? I'll sing it once and then you sing along. Say the itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed that spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy the spider went up the spout again. Well, thank you, Larry, for singing the end. But he didn't give up, did he? He kept going back and forth. He wasn't going to let that rain stop him. No way. He kept trying and trying. He did keep trying. Just like you can keep trying to go on the potty. I know it can be hard. I know it can be frustrating. But you can do it. You can do it. Because you're growing up. You're getting to be a big boy and girl. Oh, hmm. Should we sing it again? This time, you can sing with me and Larry. Do it, guys. Sing along. Say the itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. But out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. You think he made it? I bet you he did. He didn't give up. That's right. He didn't give up. You can do it, spider. You can do it. I bet you he did do it. I bet you he kept trying and trying till he finally made it all the way up the water spout. That's right. He made it all the way up the water spout. He wanted to be where it was nice and dry and clean because he likes the sunshine. Let's sing it one more time. Practice with your spider at home. Are you ready? Say, the itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain. And washed the spider out. But out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Yay! Woohoo! High five there, Larry. Good job. Oh, thank you. We kept singing it and singing it till we got it right, just like you can do with the potty. Keep trying and trying till you get it right. Oh, oh, well, wow, Larry, you did a lot of good stuff today. What else can we talk about? You know, being a big boy and girl means staying safe, too. It does. 
Of course it does. So I think we need to read our I Can Stay State book. Oh, whoa, I like that. I like it too. Have you heard this story before? Don't worry, if you haven't, you get to hear it today. And mommy and daddy or grandma and grandpa could print one out for you. Or maybe a teacher. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like it too. So I can stay safe. Wow. These are all the steps to staying safe. Yes. Oh my goodness. So, oh, well, thank you, Larry's helping me. So here we go. So everybody can see the pictures. It says, sometimes I think about going outside. Oh, look at him. He's thinking, she's thinking. Mm -hmm. When we are visiting friends or family, I need to stay inside while my parents or grandma and grandpa are visiting. Sometimes I want to go outside when we're visiting, but I need to stop and stay inside. But I wonder why. I don't know. You don't know? Well, let's learn why. It says, I'm inside, I stay safe, and my parents know where I am. Yeah, we gotta stay safe, guys. Yeah, so inside I can play with my to-go bag. Oh boy, oh, what's that? Remember we talk about taking your backpack with toys? Uh-huh, well that's what we're talking about. Okay, so I can play with my friends or my family or all by myself. Oh boy, he has a little iPad. And look, he's playing with the game with his friends. Yeah. So if I want to go outside, I need to tell someone, a grown-up, right, Larry? Oh, oh. And then I need to use my words to ask and say, I want to go outside, please. Oh, look how nice he's doing it. Look, he's using his words like a big kid. He is using his words like a big kid. I wonder what happens next. If I go outside alone, oh no, no one will know where I am. Oh no, that's terrible. Look, they're saying, where's Gage? Oh no, or where's Silas? Or I wonder where Grayson went. Oh no, and when your family and friends don't know where they are, they get scared or worried. They could cry. Oh no. So I have to remember, I need to tell someone that I want to wear. Go outside. You can't just walk outside, can you Larry? No, you have to hold hands first and then go outside and play safely. Everybody needs to know where you are. When I go outside, I need to make sure to be safe. Mm -hmm. Holding hands. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Larry. I can also tell people what I want to do when I go outside. Sometimes I might want to go swimming or play on a swing, or other times I may get to play by playing ball, pulling bubbles, or riding on a bike. I like a bike. Bikes are fun. I like them. I like them too. Sometimes I feel like exploring my neighborhood and going for a walk. Oh boy. Oh, but you better tell someone. That's right. Don't go outside alone. That's not safe, guys, not safe. That's right, when I go exploring in my neighborhood, I need to go with someone and hold hands. Oh goodness, what if the doggy was all by himself? He might come running. I have to hold hands. 
That keeps me safe. That's right. It keeps us safe. Oh, my goodness. Oh, thank you, Larry. You're such a big helper. Mm -hmm. Holding hands keeps us safe. If I don't hold hands, I could get hurt. Oh, no. You could fall down in the street and no one would know where you are. You could get hurt. You could scratch your elbows and your knees. You could get lost. That's terrible. Mm -hmm. You've got to hold hands and you've got to go with a grown up. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I can't go outside. Oh no. And it might make you sad. Oh no. But it might be an option later. If I can't go outside, I might get sad or angry. But I need to think like Tucker the turtle and play inside. Oh, oh. that's right. We got to think about what to do inside because you can't always go out. I might be able to go outside a later time or another day. What if it was raining? Yeah, you get to go out and travel, get your travel bag and play outside with some toys or maybe go to a friend's house. Yeah, I like that. I like that too. Remember, it's not always about what you want, but it's always about safety. When, when can I go outside? First, you need to do what, Larry? Hold hands. That's right. Hold hands. Then you can... Go to the playground. That's right. Then you can go to the playground. I can go outside with an adult. That way, I what, Larry? Stay safe. That's right. Go outside only with a grown-up. That's right. You got to remember the safety things. Remember, stop, then ask an adult, then hold hands and then you can go play. Yeah, because playing outside is fun for everyone when I have and use my safety rules, right? Gotta have somebody with you. Gotta have a grown up, grown up, grown up. You gotta have a grown up all the time. Good job, Larry, I like that. Did you sing that with Larry? Gotta have a grown up all the time. Yeah, that was the end of our safety story too. Wow. So could you sing that with Larry? You gotta have a grown up, grown up, grown up. You gotta have a grown up, grown up all the time. If you wanna go outside, outside, outside. If you wanna go outside, outside. You gotta have a grown up. You gotta have a grown up to hold your hand. Good job. You gotta use your words and ask mommy, daddy, grandma, grandpa, teacher, can I go outside? Can I go outside? And then they'll say, oh, yes, we can. Then stop. Do what? Hold hands. Walk outside. Always keep the grown-up in your vision, and they're going to be watching you. You don't want to get lost. Oh, no. That would be scary. You could get hurt. We don't want that to happen. Mm -mm -mm. So, Larry, you got to have what? A grown-up. A grown-up. You got to have a grown-up. Grown-up. To go outside, you got to hold their hand. 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 You got to hold a hand all the time, all the time. That's right. So that way, mommy, daddy, grandma, grandpa, teachers, all, whoever's taking care of you today knows where you are. Never go outside alone. You could get hurt. Stay safe. That's right. You've got to stay safe. Thanks for reading our book, guys. I'm really glad that you're practicing staying safe. 
Maybe next time we can learn about different things. Yeah, I like that. So do I. But you know what I think we need to do? What? I think we need to sing another song. Oh, Lord, I like that. I like it too. Hmm, what song should we sing? Bumba. Hmm. Wheels on the bus. Oh, wheels on the bus. I like that song. Me too. Let's get our poster. Let's see. Wheels on the bus poster. I don't know. Where did it go? I don't know. Oh, I can't find it. Oh, no. That means we have to sing something else. Oh, choices. Hmm. I like choices. Let's see. How about head, shoulders, knees, and toes? I like that song. Me too. So let's get out our little chart. Mm hmm Are you ready? I'm ready. So we got to do our head, our shoulders, our knees, and our toes. You ready? Say head, shoulders, knees, and whoop, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Say, sing it. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Wow, I did that pretty good. You want to try it again? Say, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Hey, you did good. Thank you. But you know what? I want to leave our friends with remembering to never give up. I think we need to sing our Itsy Bitsy Spider. I like him. I like him too. Are you guys ready to sing about the Itsy Bitsy Spider? Let's do it. Say, the Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the waterfall. Down came the rain and washed the spider off. Say, out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the spout again. Let's do it again. The itsy bitsy spider went up the waterfall. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Say out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Woohoo! Good job. High five. You're on a roll. You know what else was way up? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. You remember it? Let's sing it. Say, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Say, up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. You guys did so great today. We've learned a lot of things and we talked about a lot of stuff today too. Being big boys and girls, using the potty, staying safe. That's right, staying safe. So I want you to practice using the potty, practice staying safe, and we'll see you the next time. All right. Bye guys. Bye guys.